I'm Dean Webb with Merlin Cyber, and I'd like to talk about a zero trust use case. First, we got to go over how to zero trust. One, always check identity. Two, limit the blast radius. Three, automate responses. For this one, I'd like to look at an actual city. How are cities organized? Well, they've got different departments like water, police, fire, planning, payroll, IT, 911, the airport, and government functions. And what happens if all of these are on a flat network? A flat network means there may be different VLANs and other divisions within it, but nothing to actually limit the traffic from one to the other. Now, I drew a line around everything but 911. 911 functions usually are not part of a flat network. They are emergency services and they tend to be kept separate from the rest of all the networks. That's segmentation. That helps to protect. The problem is we've got to do a better job of limiting blast radius around these other departments. So what helps in this case? Well, always check identity. Let's say an attacker gets into one of these systems. Let's say somebody in one of these departments inappropriately connected a computer to an unauthorized internet connection. And now there's traffic that goes in and out of this city environment that doesn't pass through a firewall or a proxy server. Let's say they get in through oh, the fire department. They, have an, they, they listen in and they get an account that has admin access for the fire department. Then they use that to try a computer in the police department. If this is an admin level account for fire, do they really need to have access to police resources? The answer is typically no. We should be checking that identity. We should be checking that identity on the fire department in the first place and say, wait, where are you located? Where are you coming in from? You're not coming in from inside. We need to shut that down. Your, your location should be part of your identity. But let's also go further in saying that that identity should not be granted rights all over the enterprise. You should not have one account that gives you access to everything. Yes, that makes it easy for administration. It also makes it easy for attacking. We don't want that. We should have different accounts that are admin level in different departments. Okay, limiting the blast radius. If there's a firewall between each department, like we have 911 se segregated, we could also have all these other departments kept separate from each other. And then trying to cross from fire department to IT or fire department to planning results in something being shut down. The fire department may be completely compromised, but the rest of the enterprise doesn't suffer because we put protections between departments. And they don't have to necessarily be the physical network path. They can also include protections on cloud resources. Lots of things can be done to limit the blast radius. Then finally, automate responses. Someone could break in and be detected but nobody reads the log reports until the next day or the next week. Or there's so much in the log reports that a human eye can't really pick that out. You need to have an actual digital system that's reading the digital data and makes an automated response. And then a breach in one department is not a breach in all departments. Make sure you do zero trust security, okay?